Hello everyone, my name is Quill, and welcome to the second episode of Evolution of a Horde Base for Alpha 19. Last week we took on the Horde with nothing but this simple cobblestone base and a bone knife. No guns, no arrows. All in all, it was a success, but there's definitely some room for improvement. I'm not going to go over how to build the base again, instead I'm only going to show what was changed and what was added. Since I want this to be something that a new player could easily build, I'm trying to put myself in their shoes. I did not optimize my perks and did not rush to concrete last week. Instead, I settled on using a weapon I wasn't familiar with and avoided making a forge, workstation, and cement mixer. However, now that we're on week two, it's time to start playing smart. Let's begin by going over the biggest problem from the last horde, dogs. Once these hatches started to fail, it left us open for man's undead best friend to come home. Unfortunately, you really don't want them around. They're dead, smelly, and all around not very pleasant. To stop dogs from being able to break into the base, we're actually going to put up a simple fence that goes all the way around the entire perimeter. Starting at a corner, we'll take a normal wood frame block and hold R. From there, select shape, and we're going to select the one that says wood pole. As you can see, we can rotate it in four normal directions, but that's not going to help us out too much. If we hold R again, we're going to select advanced, and we're going to keep rotating it and start to get some new options. Let's rotate it until it lines up like so. As you can see, it's still connected to the middle block and it's on the lower half. We're going to place these all around the base and that simple bar is actually going to solve all of our problems. The dogs, when they run up, are going to get caught underneath it between this ramp that they're able to start going up and this wood block that's going to prevent them from actually getting above it. So let's add that around the entire base and we'll move on from there. This little bar is going to solve the majority of our problems, but it's also going to create some new ones. We'll address those in a minute, but for now, let's talk about resources. The plan each week is to ramp up the intensity of the base as much as we can, while also keeping it in check so it doesn't become an impossible task for someone to build. To help out with that, I'm still limiting myself to a lesser amount of resources. When I increase the number of forges or cement mixers I've got going, I'll let you know. For this week though, we're only going to use one of each. Since our supply of concrete is limited, we're going to have to pick and choose what can be upgraded now and what can wait till next week. As a personal choice, I'm going to start with the new bar that we added in and the top row. The reason for that is those are going to be taking the most damage. When the zombies start running up here, this is inside of their melee range. The hatches are also going to take damage, but we'll address those in a bit. If a zombie can get stuck up here, they're going to start hitting this top block. So that's why I want to upgrade those first. Now that we've reinforced the bars and the top row, what we're going to do is add a few more. If we take the wood blocks and put them in the corner, I'm actually going to stack them on top of each other, just like so, and do that for all four locations. Sometimes it can be a little hard to see, but if you aim at the top block, it'll usually appear. Other times you can see it's invisible, but like I said, you just aim to an upper block and it'll usually pop up. Do this around the base. And so with that done, we're going to hold R again and select Advanced one more time. Rotate it around till we get the blocks in the right direction again. And we want it like so, where it's up at the top corner. The reason for this is that it helps prevent zombies from getting stuck up here fully. They can still do it, but you can't get a huge mass. As you can see, my character is very close to falling off. By adding those blocks there, we're still able to put different things underneath, such as iron spikes if we'd like to, and once I show you the inside, you'll see that we're actually able to still aim and hit the feet of a zombie if it approaches. I find that it's best to have this bar here because it usually prevents a zombie from being able to get stuck easily. It's a personal preference, so if you don't really like it, don't do it, but I find that it makes the base look better and also adds a little bit of extra um, adds a little bit of extra reinforcement because it's just yet another thing that has to be broken down before a zombie is able to get inside. Whenever we have a chance, I'm going to reinforce those as high as possible just because they're going to be taking a lot of damage. And we'll go on from, and once that's done, 
we'll start working on upgrading these the bottom row and the corners. I'm not going to worry too much about this very bottom spot because if we have enough concrete left over, I'm going to start fortifying the dirt around it. The reason for that is whenever we go to put spikes, we don't want to put them on grass. If you put spikes on grass, that's fine. Just leave them at wood. But if you want to upgrade them to iron, if you have them on grass, you need to knock out the grass block below them. The spike's going to fall and you're just going to lose out on resources. So it's going to be dealers. It's going to be your own personal choice on that. Make your own call. One of the things I realized that I didn't explain is why I'm using wood blocks here instead of using rebar and just going straight to concrete. Uh, it's actually very simple. So if you take a wood block and you hold R and goes, if you take a wood block and go shapes, you can see we have a lot of options. However, if we take a rebar block and do the same thing, we only have a couple. Um, they can't be turned into the small block, so that's why we went with that. Um, the next thing we need to address are the hatches. So the wood hatches aren't going to last long, especially as the hordes get tougher. So what I've actually done is I've crafted 28 iron hatches and gathered some material to upgrade them all the way to rank 3. So we had a zombie come up um, and as you can see he can't hit us. I can stand right here and he can't even attack me at all. He's hitting the hatch a little bit and the top block, as well as this bar here, but it's still pretty manageable. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is that if you know we were if we had guns and there were say spitters out there, we could close the hatch and still be able to shoot the foot. So I think this will work out pretty well on the horde night. Alright, so as you can see, we finished upgrading the base to Concrete Tier 1 um, and the hatches all the way up to Rank 3. Last week I was using a Nerd Pole to get in. I did forget to show this off, but I just put a little ladder in here, um, just two pieces. Makes it easy enough to jump on and gra go up. So far, I haven't had any zombies try to get up, so I think I'm going to leave that there this Horde Night and just see how it goes. If it's a failure or I get zombies trying to bust down the hatches above, Obviously, we'll come out and knock it off, but for now, we'll leave it. Um, let's go over weapons for tonight. So, last week, I mainly handled the horde with a knife. That's going to be the same intention this week. Um, I do have weapons. Oh, I do have some weapons. I was able to find a pretty decent pistol and mod it out with a flashlight and reflex mod uh, and a reflex sight mod. And I also found an AK. But I'm not really too worried about using the AK. I don't have any perks spent on it. Um, and in regards to perks for tonight, uh, the main ones we're worried about are deep cuts. I've got that ranked up to level 4, so we get more damage, and it's to give some bleeds with the knives, and gunslingers at rank 1. I think we're going to be fine, so let's add some finishing touches, and we'll see how it goes. Let's do this. Got our first guy there. Ooh, spider monkey right away. So for these, whenever they get stuck down there, that's when you really want to have a gun because melee is going to be harder to hit. But we're still going to be fine to hit all of these guys, even with a knife. So, um, while those guys are worried about the spikes, we'll talk about what I've got in my inventory. I've got um, enough iron to repair the hatches and some concrete, as well as cobblestone, but really we'll just need the concrete and the iron. That should be more than enough to, for us to be fine. So yeah, let's see how it goes. The, uh, the bar seems to be tricking them out some. They're not even really attacking. 
as much as they are just running around the base. So that's good. Um, oh, I got a little cocky there. Go ahead and heal up. And doesn't sound like any of the ones up there. I'm also gonna go ahead and eat one of these uh, candies. Okay. Well, this is, <laughs> this is weird. It's not even midnight. Oh, okay, there, there they are. All right, had me worried there that they weren't gonna be coming. Uh, I mean, my game stage is at 63, so we should have them all night long. Um, should be good to go with no slowdowns, but we'll see. So by this point, last, uh, last week we had a, we had a serious issue with the hatches. But not even the case this time. They're barely damaging them. Oh, so as you can see, we've got a spitter coming up. So if I wanted to, I could just close these hatches so I'm get closer. And we can just attack them when needed. But since we don't want them to blow up, we want to take him out as soon as possible. Because them blowing up will do will do major damage to the base. Um, Oh, we got another one a bit further back. Oh, so the spider monkey got on the bar, but we'll see if we can get another one up there. But they can't even get into the base if they do. Alright, so let's go ahead and do check for repairs, see if we need to do any. Um, even the bars aren't taking too much. Easy enough to just stop and do it right now. Yeah, I think, oop, there we go. I think, we, oh, they're following me. That's sweet. Let's make a move over here. And now we're going to run over here. Ah, cop must have got my candles knocked down. And back over here. <laughs> All right. Oh, finally got one guy getting in. Let's see if we can get some of these loot bags before they despawn. Got it. And, oop, there's one. Alright, yeah, that one has to, that one makes me get a little too close to them. So, yeah, that, they're not even going to have a chance to get in. Especially if we have some, some materials on to repair things with. We're going to be just fine this entire night. Alright, I'm going to move them over to this side just so they can leave that stuff alone. Um, as, uh, I'm not sure if y'all have noticed, but we haven't had any of them try to come up this ladder on top, so that's great. Um, this entire area we're still free to go to, so if we wanted to snipe them from further away we could. Oh, I hear a dog somewhere. Let's see how that, let's see what happens with those. Alright, so you can see the dogs aren't able to get up to, uh, in this middle block like they used to, so that's good. Oh, that's too bright. Let's, uh swap to that one All 
So yeah, this night has been really successful so far. Um, just make sure there's no spitters. There's not. Got several loot bags we can try to grab. Hopefully they don't despawn before morning. Oh, so you can see that they're getting stuck up there, but they're not even really trying to attack everything. Well, I think we've killed them all. That's probably going to be it, so sweet. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't think we lost a single hatch. Let's go check. And yeah, Horde Night is over. So, awesome. I'm going to go grab those loot bags and we'll take a look at how the base did. Okay, so this is the base. As you can see, everything seems to be pretty much intact. Obviously, the spikes were destroyed, but I didn't put those there for their longevity. I put them there just so they could help out. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. And didn't even lose one of those bars. We had one zombie get in, I believe, but that's because he was on the bars and his leg got blown off. So, somehow he was able to crawl through. But still, I'll take that as a win. Let's, uh... Let's go over what we're going to be doing for next week, just so it can help uh, help us prepare. And drop off a couple things real quick. Starting next week, everything that we build is going to... Well, actually, starting next week and onwards, everything that we build will be using rebar and concrete. No more lower grade materials unless it's to get a shape that we can't otherwise. So having forges and concrete is going to be a must to continue with this base. Um, next week's goal is to build a second story here that will allow us to, um, to attack from a little bit further out. So one thing I will say is that we're going to use some draw bridges and, um, some garage doors, see what happens, see what we can make with those. And if there is time, what will, the other thing we're going to be doing is, ex well, not if there's time, we're going to be expanding the foundation here. We need to go ahead and get that done because sooner or later we're going to have things like demolishers and stuff. And you really don't want those blown up on dirt because if they do, the, um, it's just going to let the zombies start digging underneath the base. And speaking of it under, under the base, we are also going to start expanding downwards because we have our horde base going, it's doing pretty good. Now we can go ahead and start making this into a home. And so the first things to do that is to get an area to start living in. So yeah, thanks guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, sorry there wasn't too many major changes to this base, but I mean, they seem to have worked. We got our dog blocker in, we upgraded all the way to concrete level one. So really this week was about getting taking what we had and fortifying it enough to where it can stand. I think we did that. Um, so again, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week.